Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chronic Gamer, and today I want to show you some stuff about the EverQuest Next Landmark Movement or Parkour system. Because it's a little bit different to your standard MMO and makes the simple task of running from A to B a hell of a lot more entertaining. Before we get started, there are two things you should keep in mind. First off, all of the footage is recorded in the early phase of the closed beta. So everything you see here could potentially change or has already changed if you're watching this video at a later point in time. Beta always means they are still in development and most of the time features can still be improved quite a lot. And this is also the case for the movement system. Which brings me to my second point. Although I am pretty impressed with the system they have in place at the moment, there is a lot of room for improvement. Some of the stuff is still a bit wonky. From time to time some of the moves interrupt each other and also the camera movement is still a bit weird. The vertical movement of the camera for some reason is tied to the viewing distance. So if you spectate your character from above you're further away from a character than you would be if you're aligned horizontally. But again beta is beta. Enough with the prologue, let's get to it. All of the different moves are made up of the keys you would normally use for walking. So you have WASD for the directions, you have your shift key to sprint and you have your spacebar to jump. And the combinations and some of the time the timing of when you press which key makes up all of the different moves. We'll start off with the standing backflip. For that you'll just stand still, hold down the shift button and then jump. To do a front flip while standing still you have to jump first by pressing the spacebar and then while you're jumping press the shift key. Depending on how early you press the shift key, you either do a f normal front flip or a double front flip. Just walk forward and press the shift key. And while sprinting, you have to just jump and you'll do a dive roll. You have to meet a certain speed requirement. So walking uphill and doing a dive roll sometimes doesn't work but most of the time just sprint and jump and you'll do the dive roll. After doing the dive roll, you can hit the spacebar again, so jump again while you're landing from the first dive roll and you do a front flip while running. If you've done the front flip, you can press the spacebar again whilst landing and you'll do another front flip and you can continue on that way as long as you please or, well, as long as you don't have a rock in your way or something like that. One thing that came in with the last patch, which I personally am not too happy about because it looks a bit strange and gets annoying after a while, but who am I to judge, is a little spin in the air, a little pirouette. So if you just walk, so no sprinting, no shift key, and uh, then you'll move the camera into either the left or the right direction, then you'll do a little spin in the air. If you do the jumping and the camera movement to the left or the right while it's sprinting, you'll do a little bit of a side flip. So same idea behind it, same mechanic, but in my opinion, much better outcome. If you use the shift bar while walking backwards and then jump, you'll do a backflip, which looks especially cool if you do it downhill. Now we get to something that is a bit more tricky because it's not as easy to reliably reproduce which would be the wall flip. To do the wall flip you have to be sprinting uphill, so hold down the shift button while walking and when you're walking uphill or sprinting uphill you'll do the wall flip. The difficult part is that you have the speed requirement for the sprinting moves to work and most of the time you're not fast enough if you're walking uphill. One way to reliably reproduce it is to use the grappling hook. So jump right at the end of the grappling movement when you're uh, grappling uphill and then you pretty much do it 100% of the time. 
Another way to do it a bit more reliably and without the grappling hook being involved would be to sprint downhill or slide downhill. The sliding we'll get to in a second. So sprint downhill, turn around quickly and then jump. Then you'll do a wall flip as well. But it doesn't quite look as cool as it does with the grappling hook, to be honest. Aside from the moves you can influence with the buttons you're pressing, there are also a couple of moves which just happen depending on the terrain you're at and depending on how you move around the terrain. Uh, these might be a bit random at times, but definitely make it seem more fluid to walk around the world. When you're just walking downhill or sprinting downhill and your character might exceed a certain speed, then you will start to stumble a bit to kind of try and break uh, so as to not to fall over, possibly. You can't fall over, don't worry, but it just gives it a bit of a more natural feel to it. If you land on a slope after a jump, you go into a sliding move which can also be used to achieve the sprinting moves. So stuff like the front flip, which you would normally only get after a dive roll without the dive roll. And last but definitely not least, we have, let's, let's call it some kind of vaults, some, some jumps where you push yourself off the terrain. I wasn't able to really reliably reproduce these in different locations. Uh, there are some locations where the hills are just a certain a certain way, so your character will do the either a little a little roll on the ground or either a vault where he pushes himself off the obstacle. And if you jump while pushing yourself off the obstacle, you'll do kind of a handstand front flip afterwards which looks really cool but is a bit tricky to really get and i wouldn't say you would see it that often in your normal movement so that's it for this video i hope i was at least able to help somebody feel cool while walking around everquest next landmark my name has been chronic gamer and i'll see you next time